What it do guys, Majime here, and today we'll be looking at the balance changes coming to Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Release date 11-8. We'll see the balance update for the Megazords of all things, so that's kind of cool. Despite their tough exteriors, Megazords need some love and care. This balance pass has several goals. Increase the use of breakers, increase the use of strike combos, decrease the abuse of slide cycles using only the abilities of a single slot. That's kind of prevalent. Even I do that, so I have no absolute qualm with that. Moves have trade-offs. For example, a fast move with low EP should not have high damage and good range. That's going to change a lot of things, I imagine, then. With this balance pass, most abilities on each Megazord should have their time and place. This is intended to add more strategy and variety to the combat. We also took time to look at characters like Mega Goldar and increase their overall utility. Yeah, he wasn't super great, but if they're going to make him better, why not? Overall changes. Destabilize. Destabilize is when your Megazord is hit with an ability that makes him rock back and electricity flow through them. Any hit during this point will take double damage. We adjusted the length of time for the Megazord to be about 2.6 seconds to make greater contrast between destabilized and downed. As for the balance changes, looking at the Dino Megazord, Power Sword, needed a boost to give you a reason to use it in battle, we reduced the damage of Power Sword since it provided both utility and damage. Now Power Sword is a great opener for Dino's other moves than always being the go-to option. Sabertooth Kick, base damage decreased by 12%. Power Sword, base damage decreased by 54%. Ooh, that's, that's probably gonna hurt a lot. Ooh, man. Jumping Thrust, base damage increased by 50%. That was a pretty good move, I'll give it that. Lightning Blast, base damage increased by 10%. I love that, really cool. And uh, yeah, overall, it looks like they're really trying to change the way you play him. <laughs> For sure. Mega Goldar. There's going to be a lot here, so let's get ready. Mega Goldar's defensive reverse guard was more liability than a good counter. That's true. We switched the move to a strike and change his single hit strikes. Giant backhand and titan stomp are now defensive type moves. We also boosted his overall damage. Goldar needed some love. Giant Backhand. Move type defensive was Breaker. That's kind of a weird one. Base damage decreased by 20%. I guess defensive move, it would make more sense for it to do less damage. Savage Strikes. Base damage increased by 24%. Pretty, pretty rad. Titan Stomp. It went from Strike and now it's defensive. The B cost is now 4 instead of 3, so it actually costs more to use. And the base damage is increased by 6%. Very small percentages here. But uh, you know what? 6% uh, better than no percent or less. Reverse Guard. It is now a strike, was defensive, and the damage has been increased since it is no longer defensive and being a strike it's going to do more damage is 18%. Swooping Tackle. Damage is increased by 5%. Seismic Stab. Base damage is increased by 85%. That's, ooh, that's a lot. That's going to do a lot more damage. And his ultimate base damage increased by 30%. They want you to use it. That's pretty much it. I don't have a lot of experience using Goldar, but hey, maybe this will give us a better reason to use him. Mega Black Dragon. Black Dragon's utility is in a good place. We adjusted his damage to give each of his abilities a use. Tail Swipe. Base damage increased by 70, uh, 75%. Wow, that's a lot. Pounding Pummel. Increased by 6. Nega Beam. Decreased by 71%. You know what, I'm pretty okay with that, but it's mostly because I fight him more than I use him. Let's see, Dragon's Roar increased by 28%. Pretty good. Havoc Laser increased by 43%. I think some of those increases is fair because it's very easy to strike through a lot of those moves. Missile Charge base damage decreased by 4%. Now the Predazord. Predazord's Wild Tail Spin was greatly underpowered. We fixed that and slightly adjusted its other abilities. Hammer Hit Smash damage decreased by 30%. Wild Tail Spin increased by 200%. That is, wow, that's amazing. That's a, that's actually really a lot. Gator Staff decreased by 30. Predator Wave increased by 30, Javelin Strike increased by 21, and the Ultimate was increased by 50%. That's actually a lot. Bug Fixes. Bug Fix where Predazord would recover from a down state too quickly. 
you know what, that seems unfair, and it's perfectly fine for them to change that. That's fine. Samurai Megazord. I know a lot of people have had issues with him in the past. Well, let's take a look at what they have to say. While most of Samurai's damage was low, the low cost counter allowed Samurai to cycle through its special slot and ignore the rest of its abilities. We increased the cost of Samurai Focus to reduce the cycling. We increase the damage of Samurai's combos to make them more viable. Various Lion How. Base damage increased by 15%. Blade Storm. Decrease that damage by 38%. Ape Assault. Decreased by 28%. I could see that being a little fair. Samurai Focus. The cost is now 4 instead of 3, so it costs more. But the damage is increased by 100 and 30%. Not the most we've seen here, but still really, really good. Samurai Strike. Damage increased by 172%. Whoa! Then the Shield Bass has been increased by 34%. Most of these seem pretty good. I, I gotta say, doesn't seem to be anything else changing here. Uh, a couple things cost more, but it, in return you get so much more damage. The stuff that's been decreased is Blade Storm, that hurts, and the Ape Assault, that hurts a bit, but I think with the other stuff that's been increased, I feel like more or less you have a good balance here. I don't have this guy yet, and I really want to get him before he gets nerfed to Oblivion. Thunder Megazord. Thunder Megazord was another Megazord that could cycle through a single slot and ignore other abilities. The counter also had high damage for such low cost, so we increased the cost by 1 and decreased the damage. Lion Surge. Damage increased by 6%. Change hit reaction from downed, stunned, to destabilized. Thunder Blow. Base damage increased by 16%. Saber Strikes, base damage increased by 6%, change hit reaction from Destabilized Stun to Downed. So we kind of switched a couple of those there, so that's interesting. Saber Parry, increased from 2, which is really low, to 3, which I, I guess that's more agreeable, though I haven't fought too many since I'm not that high in ranks yet. Then the damage was then decreased by 34%. Whirlwind, base damage decreased by 39%, and that's got hurt. Mega Beam is decreased by 17%, though this one took a lot. Let's see, that ultimate, ultimate damage increased by 50%. I think they just want you to use it more, honestly. And all the other stuff has been hurt for the most part. A few things that were helped were not by a huge margin. This one, he largely took hits. Delta Squad Megazord. Delta's full screen attacks had higher damage per EP than the short range abilities. We adjusted the damage and make the short range attacks more useful. 4 5 4 combo. Base damage increased by 10%. Delta Strike increased by 55%. Pretty good. SP Double Slash decreased by 21%. Justice Lance is actually cost less now. It used to cost 5, now it costs 4. That's good. But the damage was decreased by 14%. So you'll see it or be able to use it more often, but it won't be as useful. Then the Delta Dive. Damage decreased by 27%. Mm. Crime Scene Tape, and the damage has been increased by 21%. That's good. Bug Fix. Delta can now cancel breakers just like the other Megazords. That's just fair. Well, guys, that's it for the Megazord balance changes coming to Power Rangers Legacy Wars. If you want to stay up to date on my videos and live streams on both YouTube and Twitch, check out the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining. That's all for now, guys. Mandrame out.